Hi guys, it's Kibit here and today I'm gonna show you how to make some assets or props move around the city or in, you know, in areas such as industrial areas or whatnot because it will make uh, look more vibrant and more realistically. I did it uh, in an episode ago in Europa, a small industrial area where I'm, I was showing to you how these, um, let's say, cranes are moving, even though they are not doing anything, but they move. And again, it will make things look way much better. Anyways, for this, you will need to subscribe to only two mods. Uh, it's procedural object mod, of course, and it's the uh, back and forth animation. And then go and search for back and forth module PO. This one is the module that it can, let's say it's attached to PO procedural objects mod that will allow you to move. So let's uh, see how we can make these props move. It's quite easy. I'm gonna choose a forklift just for the looks. Then we convert them to convert the forklift or whatever you want to into a PO like this. Then you see this small plus button, click on it, then click on the edit button and then you'll get this new little window that will pop up up there. Lower, some, somewhere here you're gonna see modules. Click on the modules, then click on back and forth module and then you'll have another window over here that will ask you to set, of course, some coordinates. So we have here point A from A to B, point B from B to A. Okay, and then we have a delay and uh, the other delay that will go back. Anyways, let me, let, let's take it from scratch, okay? So, set, move this forklift wherever you want and, you know, leave it there. Then click on the first button. This will set the point A. So this is the point A, the point from where this forklift will start moving then you have to decide upon the point B. You can put it wherever you want. I'm gonna just move it a few meters uh, in front and then click on the second button, which is unset. Bam, it's set to B. Uh, now we have point A, a point B. A, B, A, B, C, D. Okay, now, here it's, um, it's asking me how many seconds should it take from point A to point B. I'm gonna say, I don't know, four seconds. Start. And then this will take like four seconds to move from point A to point B. But as soon as it goes to point B, bam, it will start again from point A. We can, however, we can fix this one. First, we need to set the, the speed from point B to point A. I'm gonna set again four. And then here it says times because it's from A to B plus B, B to A times once. And that's why it jumps back to point A. But if we click and do a, a two over here, then we will see this forklift start moving backwards as well. Then, I don't know, maybe let's imagine you want this to have a different speed. Still to make four seconds between point A and B, but a different type of speed. Right now we have, we have the first one selected, which means it will move with the same speed from A to B and uh, backwards. But if we click on this one, you'll see that now it will move slower from A, see, now it stays slower get faster and then go back slower so it will go speed up then speed down then we can choose the other one this one that will speed from slow to very fast until it will reach our uh, end point or the second the last one that will uh, let's say will start fast and then just low at the end it's up to you what you want to choose of course then we have these two other uh, areas. This one, it is a delay from point A, let's say two seconds. So now it will wait two seconds before it will start moving. But we wanna say, we wanna have a delay from point B to point A as well. The delay for point B from point A, you put it over here. Let's say, I don't know, three seconds. But bam, it will wait there three seconds and then start again. 
I'm gonna close everything. Then click on the procedure object mode until I see the plus again. Click on that plus button. I'm gonna go to edit. Then I, here now it shows that I have already one module in place. Click on the module. And now you can see up there the current modules. Do not add a new one, right? Because we already have one. So click on this one and modify whatever you feel you want to modify over here. That's it, guys. I hope this one helped you. Take care. Enjoy it. And I don't know. See you in the next tutorial.